popular belief that a country becomes rich if it exports more. Contrary to this, exporting more doesn't always mean more economic growth. Let me explain. While exports can contribute to a country's economic growth, it's not the only factor that determines growth. A country that exports a significant portion of its goods may not have enough products available for domestic consumption, which lead to inflation and a decline in standard of living of its citizens. For example, take China, which heavily relies on exports to derive its economic growth. In recent years, however, China has been transitioning towards a more consumption-driven economy as they realize that relying solely on export is not sustainable in the long run. Focusing solely on exports can also have negative impacts on other aspects of the economy. Let us take example of Venezuela, which heavily relies on its oil exports. Due to their over-dependence on oil exports, Venezuela's economy has suffered tremendously in recent years and the country is facing severe economic crisis. The decline in oil prices and production has significantly impacted the country's economy as the government heavily depends on oil revenues to fund its social programs. Moreover, relying too heavily on exports can be unsustainable in the long run. We can consider Dubai's case, which experienced a significant economic downturn during the global financial crisis of 2008. Dubai's economy was heavily reliant on real estate and tourism both of which were affected by global financial crisis. So while exports are an important component of a country's economic growth strategy, they cannot be the only factor driving growth. Other factors such as domestic consumption, investment and government policies are crucial in achieving economic sustainability. So the next time you hear someone say, the more the exports mean more economic growth, remember, that's not the whole story. We need a balanced approach to achieve sustainable economic growth. One that considers not just exports, but also other factors. By taking a holistic approach to our economy, we can ensure that we are not just growing, but growing in a way that benefits everyone. Thanks for listening and let's work towards a brighter economic future.